Scammers prey on young Chinese desperate for jobs in bleak economy. Reuters A Chinese mother went on television to seek justice for her 19-year-old intellectually disabled son. After scammers tricked the desperate job seeker into having breast augmentation surgery in an inside NT that has sparked widespread outrage. The teenager hoping for a job at a cosmetic surgery clinic in the central city of Wuhan was told the procedure would help him earn money by winning followers through live streaming. The clinic even convinced him to borrow 30,000 yuan, $4,180, to pay for the below are your comments. Scamming is global across all walks of life. The levels of thievery is astounding to me. People have absolutely no morals whatsoever and are cruel and vicious. You always have to have your head on a swivel AMD trust no one. From governments to a car salesman. It's just disgusting. Scam is a way of business in Asia. Taiwan's former supreme leader, Drive. Tsai Ing-wen, was busted as a fraud by American reporter Michael Richardson in London's Upper Tribune. Al Court for claiming to be a recipient of a 1.5 PhD from LSE of the University of London. LSE told the magistrate that the school has no record of size viva voce examiners. A few years ago, Koreans made an Oscar hit movie, Parasite, with a similar storyline. Don't worry, young Chinese. Xi's common prosperity will take time. It may take many years before it comes to fruition. Your patience is needed. Remember what Confucius said, to embrace common prosperity, one must first endure the forge of pain. Only through the trials of hardship does the soul find its true strength and the path to shared bun. Dance. Don't feel sorry, that is their society. Scam each other. It is just like the Wuhan plague they sent out and blamed animals in the U.S. While it was fully the fault of the CCP. Scamming in China is a way of life. Every foreigner I know in China has been scammed. Being overcharged when you buy a drink, having thing. S added to your restaurant bills that you didn't order, employers cheating you out of your salary or social security money, tea houses that invite you in and then charge you a Don't go to China unless you want to be scammed. On top of that it's a dangerous place for foreigners. Assaults on foreigners are commonplace and never reported. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.